thank you for that welcome to country. And I begin by acknowledging the first Australians on whose lands we meet and whose cultures we celebrate as the oldest continuing cultures in human history. And as someone who had something to do with the national apology to Indigenous Australians, I look forward to the implementation of the Uluru Statement from the Heart as we advance our national journey towards reconciliation. I welcome Anastasia Palaszczuk, the Premier of Queensland. I welcome Richard Miles, the Deputy Leader of the Australian Labor Party. I welcome Queensland's very own Jim Chalmers, Labor's Shadow Treasurer. I welcome Mark Butler, the Shadow Minister for Health. I welcome all other federal and state Labor members, past and present. And most importantly, I welcome the leader of the federal parliamentary Labor Party, Anthony Albanese, who will be addressing us very soon. Fellow Australians, fellow Queenslanders, fellow residents of this, our great city of Brisbane. There is a mood for change right across our nation. In this campaign, I've been in far north Queensland, in south east Queensland, I've been in western Sydney, I've been in inner city, I've been in in Melbourne, I have been in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, I have been in Adelaide, I've been in Perth. You can feel it right across this nation of ours today. There is a mood for change. <laughs> After close to 10 long years in office, the people of Australia are fed up to the back teeth with Morrison's Liberals. They're fed up with corruption. They're fed up with incompetence. They're fed up with the blame game. They're fed up with this bloke who doesn't hold a hose. They're fed up with a government that has zero plan for Australia's future, zero plan for the economy and the rebuilding of manufacturing, zero plan for the future of our national security, zero plan for managing cost of living pressures for working families, and zero plan for climate change and zero plan for aged care, for disability care, for Medicare, for health care, in fact anything that ends with the word care, because the truth is they don't care. And that, my friends, is why the people of Australia want to toss this mob out. <laughs> My fellow Queenslanders, I'm also asking you today to think for a moment about what Australia could be, what it can be, what sort of future we can build together. With a decent government, there can be a better future for all Australians, not just another three years of more of the same. We can have a better future with a leader who shows up, who takes responsibility, who doesn't slide off to Hawaii on holiday, leaving half the country on fire and hoping that nobody would notice. But instead, we can have a leader who says to the nation, this is my job and I accept responsibility for it. We can have a leader 
who works with the states, who doesn't just blame the states for anything that goes wrong. We can have a leader who builds things up and doesn't just knock things down. We can have a leader whose record in government over many years, who was one of our most senior cabinet ministers, is one of building things, of getting stuff done, of getting it done on time and on budget. <laughs> and my fellow Queenslanders, to secure a better future for all of us, that leader is Anthony Albanese. And speaking of leaders who build things up and then thinking of those who just knock things down, did you see Scotty from Marketing's most recent attempt at personal rebranding? <laughs> Seriously. With one week to go before an election, Scotty from Marketing says, I'm not going to be a bulldozer anymore. <laughs> Scotty from Marketing says, hand on heart, forget the fact that I bulldoze Medicare. Forget the fact that I bulldozed aged care. Forget the fact that I bulldozed disability care. I bulldozed climate care and I bulldozed and then buried the NBN. Now forget all of that. Scotty is now hoping he can wave a magic wand, conjure up the fairies at the bottom of the garden and hey presto, vote for me after nearly 10 years in office because I promise to be a softer, gentler Scotty in the future. Well, pigs might fly. <laughs> This guy really takes the Australian people to be a bunch of mugs. In the most remarkable attempted political con job I've seen in my long political career, Morrison is actually saying this, vote for me and I promise to have a personality change. <laughs> what planet is this guy on? What planet is he on? We all know a leopard never changes its spots other than in Scotty's personal imaginary world of words, images and marketing gumph. My fellow Australians, my fellow Queenslanders, this mob have run out of puff, they've run out of energy, they've run out of ideas, and if we really want to have a better future for Australia, we must now change the government of Australia. Friends, I'm here today to render my 110% support for Anthony Albanese and his Labor team. I do so because I know Albo, and I've known him for 25 years. And over those 25 years, as a friend, as a colleague, I know for a fact that Albo is the real deal. I have worked with him day in, day out as one of our government's most senior cabinet ministers, as the Minister for Infrastructure, delivering more than $50 billion worth of road, rail and port projects right across this nation. Yay. And for those of us in Queensland, it was Albo who delivered the Red Redcliffe Rail Link which previous governments had dreamt of doing for more than 100 years. It was Albo who built the Gold Coast Light Rail because surface paradise needed it, not because it was a Labor seat. It was Albo who began the early planning for Cross River Rail, which will revolutionise public transport here in the city of Brisbane. And it was Albo who removed major death traps along the Bruce Highway, not because these were target seats, they weren't, but because it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Friends, for Queensland's future, and with the enormous infrastructure build we now face for the decade ahead, leading to the 2032 Olympics, 
Queensland can have no better partner in Canberra than an Albanese Labor government. Because by instinct, by nature and by predisposition, Albo is the nation builder that Queensland needs. My fellow Queenslanders, to elect this Albanese Labor government, we must also elect federal Labor members here in Queensland. And that starts right here in Brisbane. It starts right here in the federal seat of Brisbane. And it starts with the next federal member for Brisbane. Please welcome Madonna Jarrett.